Hi, God bless you and keep you uh, this beautiful day. The Lord has amazing plan for you and I who have been crucified with Jesus Christ, who knows and lives their lives every day, such as denying ourselves and you know, willing to be crucified every day with Jesus Christ, believing that we will be resurrected every day. Amen. You know, not believing in the death, but believing in the resurrection and promises of God. And willing to die to live. If we live that life, yes, I'm sure that God is keeping you under His grace and love and His promises to be revealed every day in your lives. Uh, I want to share a uh, book of Daniel uh, and a uh, book of Hebrew a little bit. It's a beautiful that. Our Father's intention never has been changed. It has been kept as He promised with His grace and love. It is chapter 9. Then in chapter 9, uh, this is verse 4. Let me read it to you. O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps His covenant of love with all who love Him and obey His commands, See, even in the time of the Daniel, he knew exactly that God keeps his promises to those who love him and obey his command. You know, lately I have encountered many people, uh, even in this place, uh, Bolivia and some South America that I have met, we have met in different regions. That includes, you know, Chile, uh, Peru, and also Argentina, and Brazil and such. People are, are so thirst for their own needs. And they are all crying out for grace and mercy from God. I mean, that we do understand. And, it is a good thing that they could be able to do that. But somehow the enemies, the evil, the, the scheme of the devil attacks most of them. So they, they can be blinded by their own thirst. They can be blinded by their own needs. And forget to listen to God that they are calling. They are crying. I mean, if they are crying out loud, to God, so they, they call so dearly to, to get help. Wouldn't that obvious that they have to listen to Him? Don't you think so? I mean, if you, if you really hope and wish that there is God, mighty God who's creator, who can change everything like, like this instantly, right? Shouldn't we listen to him? And this is what uh, Daniel says in verse right next, in verse 5th. Chap Daniel chapter 9, verse 5th. This is what it says. We have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have reb rebel, rebel. We have turned away from your commands and laws. In verse 6. We have not listened to your servants, the prophet who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. And it goes on. It goes on like this, verse 7. Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The men of Judah and people of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, in all the countries where you have scattered us, because, because of our unfaithfulness to you. O oh Lord, we and our kings, our princes, and our fathers are covered with shame because we have sinned against you. Okay. So they are uh, uh, coming back, coming back to God. Then, after they are coming back to God, after they have determined to coming back to God, then they could say like this, verse 9, The Lord our God is merciful. And forgiving even though we have a rebel against him we have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants the prophets all Israel has transgressed 
your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. Obey you. Then they confess again and they, they confront the truth. And they, and they say, Therefore, the curses and so on judgments written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured out on us because we have sinned against you. You have fulfilled the words spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing upon us great disaster. Under the whole heaven, nothing has ever been done like this, what has been done to Jerusalem. Just as it is written in the law of Moses, all this disaster has come upon us, yet we have not sought the favor of the Lord our God by turning from our sins and giving attention to your truth. One of the reasons that I share this with you is that, yeah, there are some uh, 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 people here as well in, in, in Beulah ministry in Bolivia and so, in other places. Yes, you know, we have helped them in the name of God. And, you know, yes, it's not us. God helped them through us. But at the beginning, they were very glad that the that, that help of God came to them. But like leech, they just wanted to suck the blood out of God or people of God and just wanted more and more and more and more. And they did not repent. They, they thought it was okay to live like that. I mean, yes, God has shed a light upon to them by grace of God. So they can come back to God more. So they can repent more. So they can... But they just wanted to end up using God, abusing God. Then what happened? The chance never comes back again to them. The glorious chance from God. We should know the mercy and grace it's not a cheap thing, you know. It's mercy and grace of God is not the things that we can treat lightly. It has an amazing weight to it. Yes, weight. Glorious weight. Weight of the blood of Jesus Christ. Weight of tears and sorrows of God. So when mercy and, and grace has shine upon to some of us we should be awakened come back to God and ask for God's forgiveness repent and live the life that God want them to live God want us to live don't you agree let us never be told Receiving mercy and grace from God. Amen. And let's remember, it is God who keeps His promises to those who obey. Those who live the righteous life. Those who repented their life. Changed their ways. And followed the way of God. Amen. I want to read a couple more verses in the book of Hebrews chapter 6. From verse 11 to 12. This is what it says. We want each of you to show the same diligence to the very end. In order to make, sh make your hope sure. And verse 12. We do not want you to become lazy. But to imitate those who those. Imitate those who through faith and patience. Inherit what has been promised. Promised by God. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So, people who are, people who taste the mercy and grace from God, but why they fall away? First, they're lazy. See, mercy and grace was not earned by them. It was given by God. But because they didn't earn it, but because of it was given by God, 
some, some of them, some of us becomes more wicked and become lazy and not become diligent. You know, we know that our hope is in Christ. Amen? Yes. Through the cross, we have learned it. We, ha we have seen it. We have experienced it. Amen? Is that true? Have you experienced mercy and grace of God through the cross of Jesus Christ in your life? If it has been, you have to become diligent. You have to show your diligency to Mighty Father. Then what? Through faith and patience, inherit what has been promised. Yes. If we are listening to God, if you and I am, are listening to God right now, it's not just the stories of God. There's a task to be done. There's a responsibility that we have to live to glorify God. Amen? But if you cannot see yourself that living in, if you are not living in the responsibility of what God has called you to be as a children of God, as a child of God, let me tell you very clearly, you are living the lazy life. Your faith is in vain. But if you are a true believer, if you are a true listener, if you are a true believer, you have to be a true listener of God in continuous level. And you must be doing something that God wants you to do with all your life, all your might, all your strength, with all your hearts, mind and soul, with all your characteristics to glorify God. Yes, I pray right now that none of us become lazy and none of us lose the faith. And none of us become short to inherit, to inherit the promise of God in our lives. Remember Jesus says, you have to deny yourself and take your cross and follow me. You know, that has to be done now. It's not an emotional thing. I was so disappointed for a few uh, people that lately. When I was explaining to, to them, when I was confronting them that, you know what? I mean, you say it, but you don't do it. What's wrong with you? And what they, what they try to do was that they try to cover with their tears and crimes, just, just to cover. So I said, oh, please, please, please don't cry. Oh, please, please don't shed your tears. Why, why are you shedding your tears? Why are you crying? You're not changing your lives. You just, you just want God to keep on feeling sorry for you, is that what it is? Because that's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna work. Come back to God. Learn to hate yourself. If you, if you are a lover of your own life, how would you deny yourself? How would you take your own cross and follow Jesus Christ? Please, turn back. And come back to God. So you may receive promises that he has given you in the name of Jesus Christ to live the glorious life through God's righteousness and goodness of God. Amen. Well, God bless you and keep you. Hope you may live the life and receive the promises today to glorify God. Shalom from La Paz, Bolivia. Ciao.